Yo YouTube what's going on and welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys I'm here to give you guys the top 10 best wingers of FIFA 23 ultimate team in my personal opinion This video is just based off of my experience with these players trying out these players Going against these players Watching some gameplay from a lot of different types of streamers and youtubers So I feel like these are the top meta wingers that you guys should be using once again, guys, this is just my list. Our list is most likely not going to be the same. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below who's your favorite winger of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team and which one did you think that I left out on? Um, before we get on to the list, I do want to say that this list will only include left mids, left wingers, right wingers, and right mids. No central position based players will be on this list, just strictly from the outside. With that being said, let's get into the first honorable mention. First honorable mention, guys, is going to be 86 rated player of the month, uh, Gapo. 6 2 high, medium, right foot, double four star combination. I probably mispronounced that name. I do apologize, but 89 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 87 dribbling, 79 physicality. He has both finesse shot trait and outside the foot shot trait. I haven't tried out this card, but I went against him. He's pretty solid. A lot of people like him, they think he's a really really solid meta card at this stage of the game obviously links are a little bit questionable with the league he's in but you can link him to van dyke frankie de young uh friend pong there's a lot of dutch players you can link him to so you can't go wrong with the card in my opinion second honorable mention is going to be rafael leal team of the week 86 rated just come out from this week 6-2 medium low right foot double four star combination as well 92 pace 80 shooting 76 passing 88 dribbling 77 physicality Again, both finesse shot trade and outside the foot shot trade. Um, really surprised he doesn't have five star skill moves. If you guys watch Rafael Leal in real life, he you could say he does have five star skill moves, but nonetheless, guys, definitely still a solid card to play down the wing. Can't go wrong with him. Now, coming number 10 is going to be Lozano, yeah, boys, 5'9, high, low, right foot, four star skill moves, three star weak foot, 94 pace, 80 shooting, 76 passing, 85 dribbling. 66 physicality and outside the foot shot trade as well you gotta level lozano every single year in fifa especially if he gets a special card with that type of pace you can play him in as a super sub or if you want to start him out in game a lot of defenders nowadays don't have that much pace there's a lack of fullbacks if you don't have mendy or Theo hernandez as the left back if i'm not mistaken there's not really that many left backs that have a lot of pace so you put in lozano in game He's going to burn out on your fullbacks. Here we go with number 9 on the list. is going to be Road to the Knockouts, Rafinha, 5'9", high, high, left foot, double four-star combination, 94 pace, 82 shooting, 81 passing, 88 dribbling, 77 physicality. He has no shooting traits in-game. Overall, a decent card with decent links. Um, the pace is really nice. The dribbling is also really good. I do think Barcelona are going to somehow squeeze their way to the Knockouts. It would be really funny if they don't but i still figure like they'll be able to do this so if they do the car will be even better coming number eight is going to be 81 rated same maximum yeah boys five eight high low right foot five star skill moves four star weak foot 90 pace 73 shooting 73 passing 88 dribbling 68 physicality no shooting traits in game basically this is what you want a winger the five star skill mo skill moves excuse me the 90 plus pace the really responsive dribbling as really responsive as you can get because of FIFA 23 and how slow the offensive gameplay is and no less like dribbling. Obviously the little bit of suspect of the car is the finishing, but when it comes to creating from the plays from down the wing, same max as your guy. Command number seven is going to be 82 rated Zaha, yeah boys. 5'11 high high right foot, five star skill moves, three star weak foot, 91 pace, 79 shooting, 73 passing, 86 dribbling, 76 physicality. No shooting traits in game. Similar to same maximum, you definitely want a car like this down the wing to create as much space as possible. The reason I do give Zaha a little bit in front of same max, even though he does have a three-star weak foot, um, he does have better shooting stats. For me personally, um, three-star and four-star weak foot is basically the same this year, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but based on my experience, that's what I've been experiencing so far. And He's from the Prem, so if you need a Prem winger, Zaha's your guy. Command number six is going to be Sadio Mane, 89 rated. Once to watch out, boys. Uh, 5'9", high medium, right foot, double four-star combination, 90 pace, 83 shooting, 80 passing, 88 dribbling, 77 physicality. 
no shooting traits in game not much to say about Mane. He's just that guy every single year in FIFA. He's kind of a little bit um, withheld in the meta because he doesn't have five-star skill moves. Now this year, things are looking a little different on the meta. So you can get away with wingers with 4-4. And Mane with that pace and dribbling stats, you definitely want to go with him. Coming number five is going to be once to watch Anthony Alboys 5-9 high medium left foot. Five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, 93 pace, 74 shooting, 75 passing, 86 dribbling. 69 physicality and he has outside the foot shot trait as well i went against this card a lot of times in division rivals guys he is one of the fastest and most agile and most difficult players to catch up in fifa 23 it's actually insane how op this card is he has the ones to watch i do believe he'll get at least one inform maybe two with united um he has two goals i believe so that's a good start for him but um if you guys need a card that's gonna create as much space and it's, you send a wide ball and they're automatically gonna beat their defender on the run, Anthony's definitely your guy. He also has some good links. Coming number four is going to be our first foot hero. It's going to be 85 rated Al Owarian. Owarian. I mispronounced that though, apologize. But um, for this video, we're only gonna include gold players and foot heroes, no icons. And this guy right here, guys, I've tried him out in draft. He is really, really broken. Six foot high, medium left foot, double four star combination, 94 pace, 82 shooting, 80 passing, 86 dribbling, 72 physicality, no shooting traits in game. When you send him on a run, guys, he is just very hard to knock the ball off with that decent strength and agility, excuse me, decent strength and aggression. And somebody with his body type, six foot, with that type of pace, and the dribbling stats actually only says 81 and higher. It's actually better in game. He actually feels better in game for some reason. I don't know what it is, but this card is a very, very meta. And I love, I know a lot of you guys have tried out this card. You guys know what I'm talking about. My number three is going to be 83 rated gold Uzman Dembele, yeah, boys. 5'10 high medium left foot, double five star combination, 93 pace, 77 shooting, 79 passing, 87 dribbling, 56 physicality, no shooting traits in game. Um, what can we say about Dembele? Always a meta winger every year, especially with a double five-star combination. Um, I'm using him on my team currently. I have him on tradable. A lot of the pros are using him currently. He's just a great winger to use and create space down the wing. Not only that, he can pass with both feet, shoot with both feet, good links as well. So you can't go wrong with him. Coming number two, guys, going to be 89 rated Neymar Cito, y'all yeah, boys. Five, nine high, medium, right foot. Double five star combination, 87 pace, 83 shooting, 85 passing, 93 dribbling, 61 physicality, outside the foot shot trade as well. Um, Neymar, even though with the pace and downgrade, and I believe as well, a little bit of a dribbling downgrade compared to FIFA 22, he's still a very metal card, still very good to create space down the wing. I do prefer playing him at striker this year centrally due to that pace downgrade, but if you do choose to play him down the wing, He's still very, very good. Very good with the dribbling as much as he possibly can. You can't go wrong with a Neymar on the team, per se. And number one, guys, the best winger of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team is 86 rated Vinicius Jr. 5'9 high medium right foot, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 95 pace, 79 shooting, 74 passing, 90 dribbling, 67 physicality. I appreciate that subscription, Lucas. Thank you so much. Um, and he has outside the foot shot trade as well. So Vinny guys, I have him on my team. He's just so good with his dribbling animation this year. He is very good at creating space. He's just amazing. He's just the total package you want a winger when it comes to the dribbling, when it comes to the pace, the runs that he makes. He actually has pretty decent shooting to be fair. He, has, he actually has pretty decent shooting whenever I do attack inside the box with him. Um, he has good links as well. I know a lot of pros would vouch that Vinny is the best winger. I don't think there's anybody close to Vinny, man. If you want like a player down the wing to create as much space as possible, I think Vinny's your guy, man. And this for me are the top 10 wingers of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. Uh, let me know once again in the comment section down below if you guys think that I left out a winger. Remember, no icons in this video. Just straight gold informs or foot heroes so thank you guys once again for the support that you guys have been showing me and these past couple of videos 
The next video will, will either be the top 10 best strikers of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team or an 89 rated Johan Cruyff player review. We'll see what's up later on. But if you guys are new to the channel and join the FIFA content, drop a quick subscription. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I'm out. God bless.